Hi everybody, it's the Diva and I'm back. Welcome to my mukbang. Today we are having, what are we having today? I could have never remember. We're having eggs, broccoli, corn, shrimp, and crayfish in beloved smackalicious sauce, the spicy of course, just like moi. Okay, um, let's dig in. I'm so hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, I'm always hungry. You should be used to that by now, right? Let me get a shrimp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Guys, don't mind the onions. You know. I love me some onions. Mm-hmm. If you're allergic to seafood, I feel so sorry for you. You're totally missing out. This is the best. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You guys got to try this sauce. So guys, what's going on? Talk to me, don't be shy. Mm. Have you ever been so hungry? And because you're hungry, you order like, you buy a whole set of food and then you don't eat anything, you get full really quick. I hate when that happens. Or have you been so hungry and you, you buy a meal, you have a meal and it doesn't taste good, but you're so hungry you still eat it anyway? <laughs> And because you're hungry, it tastes like the best meal ever. <laughs> That's definitely happened to me a few times. I am learning how to eat a crayfish. Let's grab me an egg. Look at all of that onion. Look at that 
onion. How can you not love this? Man, people who don't like onion, how do you cook? How does your food taste, really? Tell me. I don't get it. You probably substitute and use onion powder or something. Mm. Mm. Yummy. You know I love food. Don't worry, I'm gonna start talking in a minute. Mm. The lemon is key. When you're doing this sauce, don't forget the lemons. It's delicious. Oh man, I didn't get this one due. Let's try again. Mm-hmm. I got it. There you go. Hey. So guys, what I've realized is that we have so much depressed people out there, especially since the world events that started early 2020. People who have lost their jobs. I mean, people are having a hard time taking care of their families. Paying rent. Finding somewhere to live. I mean, there's a lot of depressed people out there. And depression is a serious thing. Don't ever take it lightly. Hmm. If you know anyone who's depressed, who has been depressed for any reason, Whatever the reason may be, encourage them to talk to someone professionally. Whether it be a friend, a family member, even a coworker, you know, unless you're a therapist, you should encourage them to talk to. A professional a therapist a counselor these people who are trained to deal with this stuff
His sauce is finger looking good. But yeah. Encourage them to talk to someone, a professional, a counselor, a therapist. I don't know why is it so frowned upon to say, hey, I'm seeing a therapist or hey, I'm seeing a counselor. We all need someone to talk to, right? But instead of us seeking the professional route, we go and we talk to somebody out there who it is, a friend or somebody who it is going to talk your business and tell everybody what it is going on with you. Mine, <laughs> excuse the dialect, but you know, I just had to give it to you on cut, the uncut version. In most cases, the people we think we can trust, we can't. My uncle once told me a very long time ago, if you can't keep your own secret, don't expect anyone else to do it for you. And I've never forgotten that. Shrimpy shrimp shrimp. Whoop, whoop. So guys, please don't take depression lightly. It's a serious matter. Hey, 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 I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I still have the corn. And an egg. And about two more shrimps. Oh, how do you know if someone is depressed? People deal with things in different ways sometimes. They just act, act out of character. Like they go quiet. Ooh. Seed. They don't say much. They go quiet. Usually they like to be alone. So pick up the signs and help someone, especially if it's someone you love, you care about, you want to help them out. Don't be ashamed about seeing a professional. Please. Egg. Hey guys, you know what I've been thinking about lately? Traveling to outer space. If you had the opportunity to travel to outer space, would you go?
do you want to experience what it's like to look at earth from above see different planets would you like to land on the moon I would definitely like the experience. If I had the opportunity, I definitely would go. Hopefully I make it back in one piece. <laughs> I think that should be a great experience. Oh man, I have a few more shrimps left. I tried. I really tried, but I'm poor. But that's not my new goal. To eat everything. Oh. Next time, definitely, I'm going to win. I'm going to win this challenge. So, guys, I'm going to go leave you. And my tree shrimps that I have left, I think it's like one, two, yeah, tree shrimps. Plus it's good. So if you know anyone who is depressed, encourage them to see a professional. If you are interested in going to outer space, let me know. <laughs> we can make a trip of it. <laughs> But if there are any topics you want to talk about, anything you want me to discuss with you, you can just drop a comment down below or you can send me an email at divaeats284 at gmail.com. This is the Diva signing out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so you can be notified of every time I drop a video. And upcoming, guys, I have some great stuff coming up. I have some challenges. You want to stay tuned. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. You need to see these videos coming. So until then, see you soon. Bye.